I just tried the new Filmic Pro features with my DJI OM4, and they're great. In this video, I'm going to show you how the new features help you shoot video. One of the most commonly asked questions I get about the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 and OM4 is whether it is compatible with Filmic Pro. Well, after a bit of a wait, now it is. Filmic Pro is the leading camera app for video for both iOS and Android. But until now, there was no way to control the app via the OM3 or OM4, which meant that to do focus pulls or zoom in and out, you had to use your phone's screen, which isn't always the best way when you have your phone mounted to a gimbal. So the first thing you need to do is connect the gimbal. Here's how. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled on your smartphone. Mount your smartphone and power up the gimbal. Open Filmic Pro. Tap Settings. Tap the hardware icon. Toggle on DJI Osmo Mobile. Filmic Pro now automatically searches and finds your powered on Osmo Mobile gimbal. You should get a message under the toggle saying the gimbal and app are now connected. At least that's how it worked with my Samsung S9. Your device may work differently. I believe with some devices, the gimbal will appear and you need to tap it to connect. Now that Filmic Pro and your gimbal are connected, pressing the record button on the gimbal will start the app recording. Tap the same button to stop recording. To access various controls, use the slider at the side of the gimbal. Push up or push down and release to cycle through three different modes. The different modes are indicated by a circle with various symbols in the middle of the screen. In any mode, when you move the joystick, the circle will display a thick line around that icon to show you what you're adjusting. The first mode is pan and tilt. You will know you're in this mode when you get a circle and four arrows. So now the joystick will tilt and pan depending which way you push it. However, let's be honest here because actually this isn't really a feature of Filmic Pro because the gimbal does this anyway, whether you're connected to Filmic Pro or not. As you can see, when I disconnect Filmic Pro from the gimbal, the joystick still operates panning and tilting the camera. So rather this is more like a default mode and the gimbal doesn't need to connect with Filmic Pro to tilt and pan. And anyway, this has nothing to do with manual camera control, which is what we really want when we are using Filmic Pro. Now, remember that the joystick has sensitivity and depending on how hard you press it, I managed to get three different speeds this time. It's a little bit tricky to get the hang of, but it can be done. Push and release cycles to the manual mode. This is indicated by a moon symbol left, a sun symbol right, to indicate that exposure is controlled by moving the joystick left or right, and a flower at the bottom and an infinity symbol at the top to indicate focus is controlled by moving the joystick up and down. discovered that you can lock shutter speed and this means that if you want that film look by getting some motion blur from a slower shutter speed you can set your shutter to say 148th or 150th and then lock it and once the shutter is locked the joystick will only control the ISO so that's a really useful feature. The next mode is the zoom mode and you know you're in this mode when you see this circle with the magnifying glass plus and minus symbols top and bottom. So push the joystick up to zoom in and down to zoom out. Pushing the joystick left or right in this mode locks and unlocks the exposure or focus reticles. The reticles are the circle and square used for setting and locking focus and exposure in Filmic Pro. Red is locked and white is unlocked. So let's say you wanted to use the joystick for a nice smooth pan shot, but you don't want the exposure setting changing during the shot. So go to the zoom mode, lock exposure, then switch back to tilt and pan mode. And now you can make that smooth pan and the exposure will stay fixed. 
making your shot look a lot more professional. The fourth and final mode is auto mode. This is similar to zoom mode, except the exposure and focus reticles are switched to live mode. Now, when you unlock the reticles, you get Filmic Pro's live focus and live exposure. So unlocked live focus, for example, will allow your smartphone's autofocus to adjust while you are shooting using the center of frame to set focus. And the same goes for exposure. Now, this is a useful mode when vlogging and you want your phone to keep your face well lit and in focus, no matter where you move. Now, don't forget you can change the zoom and focus speeds with Filmic Pro. While the joystick sensitivity works for pan and tilt for zoom, focus or exposure, it seems to only act as an kind of on off switch. In other words, no matter how softly you press the joystick, you only get one speed. But this speed can be adjusted in Filmic Pro using the slider to the right of the focus and zoom control. Now, if you set it to about two or three, I find that gives you a nice smooth focus pull. So that's it for this short video. And uh, if you found it useful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.